Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. And we're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. The word kainos means new, and that's exactly what we want to do on our podcast. Bring something new from what is old in our faith. And on this show, you might hear us explore topics like what the Bible has to say about student loan forgiveness, discuss how the satanic temple affects our view of religious liberty in America, or even question why is it that so many people are having rapture anxiety. To learn more about the podcast, go to lifeaudio.com. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. A Prayer for the American Church Written by Emma Dancy Recorded by Meg Booker Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4.16 It seems the growth of the American church has been stunted. Households are being broken apart by divorce and drama. Young people are walking away in record numbers. Mental health plagues the congregants. Pandemic effects linger. Dishonest and abusive leadership seems rampant. And hypocrisy and gossip are prevalent. The enemy never ceases in his work. The church body is not about a building, production, or tradition. The church is about the bride of Christ, the people of Jesus. He has blessed us with power over the darkness and invited his people to be salt and light in this world. God has given us power over all evil in his name and protection from it by his armor. His Holy Spirit works and does great things, even in the trials, as he promised. Today, we come before God to ask Him to renew the church in America. The Lord is still on the throne and working. He can bring revival, sees His faithful ones, and knows hearts. God is still moving. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank You for the church that You have provided. We praise You for the gift of knowing You and gathering with believers in Your name. We celebrate that you have given us the name, the Bride of Christ. We thank you that even though we have a very real enemy working against us, you have given us victory today and every day in Jesus. God, today we ask that you begin a new work on behalf of the American church. Renew what has been broken for your glory and redeem what the enemy meant for evil. We pray you would reveal any wolves among us. Help us to be innocent as doves and shrewd as serpents. God, we beg you to remember those whose hearts are steadfast in you. Redeem and work in a fresh way. Forgive us where we have failed you. We ask that your name be glorified in our gatherings nationwide. Let us honor you first, seek you always, and uphold every piece of your word. Make scripture the foundation of our gatherings and your gospel known regularly. Gather us in celebration in the presence of your spirit, very much alive and moving. We praise you that your word is alive, active, powerful, and sharper than any double-edged sword. 
Your truth is living and moving, and our faith is alive in you. We pray for those individuals within the body of Christ who have been wounded. Most are just sinners trying to do their best. Heal those hurt and confused by the actions and the words of those who are supposed to represent you. Derail the work of the enemy and expose situations of abuse and wrongdoing. We pray any misrepresentation by church members will not prevent others from joining and gathering with believers. We pray for reconciliation where there needs to be and a new sense of unity. We pray against those who are wolves among believers. Give us eyes to see, discernment to know, and wisdom to apply how to handle situations that arise in the local church. Bless leadership with great wisdom and help them to follow you. Thank you for the giftings of the body of Christ. We pray you will continue cultivating those as a ministry among believers and unbelievers, and those who have felt like they cannot step foot in a church building feel welcomed. Let them experience the love of Christ and witness conviction and change of heart. Thank you so much for your love and our participation in something bigger than ourselves. We humbly submit to you as our leader today and ask that you would move in the church. In the midst of hardship, sin, and brokenness, would you redeem the American church? In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.